Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my 34 week update and I decided I'm just going to do them every week because it's almost over and I'm going to want to remember all of these great times that I'm having um, and all the symptoms. So for the next baby I know kind of what was going on at each time. Um, we have another bunch of new subscribers so welcome. I'm Lacey, 34 weeks pregnant with baby boy and little one currently waking up from her nap so we don't have much time. <laughs> um, but this week I wanted to talk about the normal stuff and then kind of like a life update because life seems to be crazy. And when I mean crazy, I mean crazy. <laughs> like so much going on. These are like my three busiest mo uh, months of the year. And of course I have the baby in the middle of it because it wouldn't be me without that, huh? <laughs> so let's get into cravings. Sugar. Sugar and all of the sugar. Um, but I've been really good. And this afternoon when I was driving home from preschool, I could have stopped at Beef and Bun. And if you have a Beef and Bun where you live, let me know below because those root beer freezes are to die for. But I didn't stop and get one. I went to the signal line instead of going straight. <sighs> yep, self-control, people. I might have a little bit of it sometimes. <laughs> um, just gaining four and a half pounds in two weeks, I was like, okay, take it down a notch. Take, and I know, I already know, baby's growing, it's fine. But if I could maybe make healthier choices, It'd be better for everyone. <laughs> Anywho, um, my symptoms this week. So baby is still, I guess I can call him Kane. He has a name. His name is Kane. Um, he's still head down and I know that for sure because all his limbs are over here and my last ultrasound he was head down and all his limbs were over here. Still haven't had any big shift. Next week starts NST testing and Monday I have a 7 a.m. Yes, you heard right, people. 7 a.m. doctor's appointment. Because that was the only appointment that my doctor had, of course. <sighs> so, that's one of my symptoms. This is a symptom I've been forgetting to add is butt cramp. Mm hmm you heard right. <laughs> butt cramp. It's a butt cramp. So, not like like just my butt cheek, like in the middle, like where your butt bone is. It like cramps up. Luckily, I haven't had it in a few days, but I've been drinking like an abundance of water, like over dramatically drinking water. Um, so of course I'm sure that has to do with it because it always does and eating bananas. But for like a good two days, it was so bad. I'd have to like squat down and that's the only thing that got rid of it. So for like a whole day, I was just randomly squatting down. <laughs> it was so weird. <gasps> Whatever. But it's over. And the cure is to drink water and eat bananas. So if you're out there and you are getting cramps, I know I talked about the leg cramps, but it's like a, I'm just going to say like a sit bone cramp, not a butt cramp, because that sounds silly. But like a sit bone cramp. There we go. <laughs> Um, also a little bit of the swelling is starting and I want to blame the heat because it's still kind of hot here, um, in California and my hands are getting a little, a little, um, swollen where you can kind of tell when you squish them together. And then if I sit on my knee or on my legs, like folded, I feel like, Ooh, a little swollen there as well. My feet are doing fine. Just my hands and my legs, I feel like I've maybe a little bit of retaining water. Um, with Mila, I don't remember when I took my ring off, but I knew I was having a C-section and there's like these things where people say they're going to cut your ring off and all that stuff. But with this one, I don't know what's going to happen. So it doesn't, it can't come off now. So <laughs> we are, we're going to go with it and whatever happens, happens. Um, I don't think they're going to cut it off or anything like that during labor, but um, I've heard stories. So last pregnancy, I was like, oh, this time I'm like, 
do what you want to do. <laughs> but right now it's definitely not coming off. All right, let's do a life update before we show the belly. Um, life's crazy, so crazy. This, let me tell you, he's even kicking. He's like, yep, life is crazy. <laughs> um, we have baby shower coming up on Sunday, which I'm so excited for, but also I have a lot of things to do for the baby shower. I'm making quite a few things um, for it, and I wanted to be, this time around, I mean, I throw a lot of parties, birthday parties, we've had parties for every situation you can imagine, and I always have these great ideas and never do them, so I'm doing them. Just takes a little bit of work, <laughs> or a lot of work. Um, we have the pumpkin patch. We went to the pumpkin patch last week. We're going again this week with our workout group. Um, we have, let me look at my calendar over here. I have a hair appointment. We have the hospital tour on Thursday. I have a nail appointment on Thursday. I have the hair appointment on Friday. I have another friend's baby shower on Saturday. We have a dance show. So if you did not know, I teach dance. Yay. Um, so I have a dance show Saturday evening. Not sure if I'm going to make it just yet. Um, and then the baby shower on Sunday with another dance show, which I'm probably not going to make. <laughs> I'm not dancing, obviously, but my dancers are. Um, and then next week starts chaos. So I have my um, regular scheduled doctor's appointment, which we will be doing an ultrasound again. I love them so much. Um, and then two NST tests, Tuesdays and Fridays. And then next weekend is like photo weekend. Um, a place here offers free Halloween photos. So we are gonna dress Mila up in her costume and get her photos taken. And we have a birthday party and we have another dance show. Yeah, it's like dance show season. Um, October and December, obviously not in November. Um, and then my husband's birthday, which I cannot forget, people. I can't forget that one. I already have scheduled someone's birthday party, or someone invited us to a birthday party on his birthday, and I already said yes, but he's not turning a special number, so I think he'll be fine. Um, and then we roll into more NST testing, and Halloween, and more photos. Mila has her fall photos coming up. Um, which I'll have to probably do like a little outfit haul for her. <sighs> then we have a baby <laughs> in November. So that is my October in a nutshell. It's going to be wild. I just finished 20, I want to say pumpkin, pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin patch shirts for our workout girls for the pumpkin patch for their little ones. I also did a few special orders for Halloween for some of my friends. If you did not know, I cricket and um, sell what I make and people ask me to make stuff all the time and I do it. So that's on top of all of that <laughs> and making stuff for the baby shower, going to preschool twice a week, teaching workout three times a week, teaching dance on Wednesdays. Life is tiring and I did not take a nap today. Ding! Yay for me because you get a lot, of a lot more done than when you're sleeping all day. So. Let's jump into the belly. Oh, this is with the shirt on. I feel like it's not grown too much in the last week. This is with the shirt up. As you can see, my hair is definitely growing. Again, these are my favorite shorts ever. And they might be getting a little tight, but I'm still going to wear them. So that is that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.